uh, the mass of an object measured in tons would be the same for both of them. So the ton of feathers and the ton of bricks have the same mass in this case, which is why they're shown on this balance as being equal, equally balanced. So they have equal mass, but uh, you know, clearly they're a very different collection of objects. And the difference is that the feathers take up a much larger volume. For, to get that ton of feathers, they, you just have to pile up a, a larger volume of feathers. And so those have the smaller density. So density as it's defined is mass divided by volume. So equal mass objects, the one with the larger volume will have the smaller density. Okay, so let's just play with this topic with this poll question. So if I have a cube of lead and a second identical cube and I sort of you know, press them together and make a, a new composite object, tell me about that composite object. So I'm seeing most votes for D, which is that the mass would double and the volume would also double, but the density will not double. And that's right. So uh, the two bricks together have the same density as what they had before. Uh, the mass is doubled of the new object because there's two objects that each had the same initial mass. The volume of the new object is also twice as big as it was before. And because of that, the density doesn't change. Okay, so you can kind of think of density as just a property of some material. And this is, you know, the exact thing that we use density for when we talk about planets is to get an idea of what material planets are made out of. And that's really important because we can't just uh, simply visit the surfaces of all the planets and collect material from them to test and figure out what it's made of. Uh, because number one, it would just be really expensive. But number two, not even all the planets have solid surfaces to go collect material from. And your space probes might not get there, as we'll see.